today. So again, I just want to officially welcome you all here. And we are just so grateful that you have decided to join us this Good afternoon to everyone. Welcome. And today we want to lift up and honor God for blessing us with hope today. Blessing us with the hope that is so evident in the wonderful, beautiful weather. And also for each and every one of you as a symbol of His hope. And we thank Him today. We also thank Him for rolling away the stone of hopelessness that is so prevalent. And that today we celebrate and release the manifestation of His hope. So Father, we thank you for this auspicious occasion, for blessing us with your presence, for blessing us with those who symbolize your hope, those who sit on the stage here with us, who are symbolic of bringing hope to others, encouragement, empowerment, lifting from situations that are dark and bringing light and hope to each other. So Lord, we thank you and let this be a wonderful time. Enjoy each and every uh, entertainment, each and every uh, speaker, each and every warning. And we thank you, Father, for this wonderful day of hope. In Jesus' wonderful, matchless name, Amen. Mothers of Crisis. And founder of this wonderful occasion, my special, special woman, Dr. Rosalind Lewis Tompkins. And there's 
no way I can do what I do and we can do what we are doing without help and without support. You've heard about our sponsors and we also have uh, Citizens of Hope, some of our Citizens of Hope that's out there. Let's give it up for the Citizens of Hope that are here, those that are planting and sowing the monthly seed to help this hope movement of Mothers in Crisis go forth, to help us to spread hope around the world. But this is the Hope Squad, Christ Vision Tribe of Mothers in Crisis. No way we could be here without their diligent service and their, and their unfailing support and just, just continuing to run hard with me on this hope. Today we want to do something a little special. Everyone that actually signed in, you should have received a little bubble, bubbles, a little um, plastic container with bubbles. How many of you all have your bubbles? Okay, great, great. So what we're going to do, if you don't have your bubbles, we still have more bubbles. Because what we want to do is significant to signify the launching of this second annual National Month of Hope. We want to release the bubbles in the atmosphere. So begin to take out your bubbles and begin to blow your bubbles all around. This is a way of saying, yes, I see those bubbles. You know, this is a significant, and why do you say, well, why would bubbles be significant? Because bubbles bring joy. And that's what hope is all about. Whenever you, whenever as a kid, you know, all you gotta do is just take out some bubbles. Some of you all, when you take out those bubbles, you begin to smile. And smiling is a sign of hope. Laughter is the sound of hope. And whenever you begin to blow those bubbles, and then that sound, let's turn that on with the sound, and it begins to, it permeate the atmosphere. It changes the atmosphere as we blow those bubbles, as we laugh, as we smile. As we have fun, as we have hope, that's what we're talking about. So you all have your bubbles out there. Just blow those bubbles. And let me tell you something. Whenever, and, and we're branding this, this is the first year of branding the bubbles with the hope. But like I told you, 30 years from now, when someone takes out a bubble and they begin to blow those bubbles, people are going to know that is hope. That is hope. of the National Month of Hope. Yeah. 
appreciation for the quality things in life. Family, good food, and soul music. Doesn't get better than that, huh? The quality of life. Family, good food, and soul music. Uh-huh. His influences range from Michael Jackson to Bob Marley, Lauryn Hill, Most Def, and more. After working independently for six years, Royce was signed to Motown Records and released two major projects. His latest work, Love and Other Dreams, has nearly one million streams. <laughs> So my name is Ray I'm from here, right here in Tallahassee, and it's always beautiful to play in your hometown. I've been on the road for a little bit, but thank you so much, Dr. Roslyn, and others in crisis, citizen hope. Thank you so much for having me, I really appreciate it. And um, I really appreciate you guys coming out here. I always see hope when people are out and about, different shades, different economic statuses, just out here, just having fun with one another, and so I really appreciate that. I'm gonna do some music that may, might talk about that a little, let's see, hold on. See if I can get you to sing with me a little bit. I know we kind of spread out, but I, if you sing loud enough, I can hear you. I see it. I know this girl by the name of Sasha, a bad chick straight out of Compton, heart full of dreams that she gonna accomplish. She gonna make something out of nothing, and she read every book on the shelf, trying to find a way to get a little help. The odds are seeing she was gonna fail. I wish she knew the love behind the veil. Oh, I wanna say something to her, say something to her, say something to her. Oh, I wanna say something to her, say something to her, say something to her. Oh, I wanna say something to her, say something to her, say something to her. Oh, I wanna say something to her, say something to her, say something to her. Yo, you got wings. Don't you know you can fly? The stars are meant to shine. Open your eyes, you belong in the skies. Oh, you got wings. Don't you know you can fly? The stars are meant to shine. Open your eyes, you belong in the skies. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's what we all should do, we should say something more. Oh, I wanna say something to you, say something to you. When we see someone looked over and left out, say something to you, say something to you. And this is what I wanna say, I wanna say. Girl, you got wings, don't you know you can fly? The sun was meant to rise. Open your eyes, you will look in the sky. Baby, you got wings, don't you know you can fly? The stars are meant to shine. Open your eyes, you will know in the sky. Sing this with me, say. say oh, 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 oh. Yeah. 
Alright, so if it's okay with you guys, I want to Yeah, up 
Southern Community Development Corporation, Tallahassee Airport Advisory Committee, and recently became a board member of the Bond Community Center. He has also provided his service to the Florida Bar, serving as a member of both the Florida Bar Foundation Board and the Florida Bar Student Education and Admission to the Bar Committee. He currently serves as trustee to the Florida Supreme Court Historical Society. Attorney Box has served as his alma mater and booster chair as a national leader. Fox is a lifetime member of the National Bar Association and has served in national leadership positions over the last 16 years to include national president, general counsel, vice president of finance, regional director of region 10, of region 11, I'm sorry, and president of the Virgil Hopkins Florida chapter of the National Bar Association. In 2011, Dallin Clark was elected as the 69th president of the NBA. He continues to provide services to the National Bar of the Bar's board director of the National Institute. He also was elected to serve as a minority caucus chair for the American Association for Justice and also a member of the leadership position with the Carter Justice Association. Darren Fox has received numerous awards and accolades for his work, both as an attorney and outstanding businessman. A few of his awards include the Leadership Pacemaker Award with the Greater Tallahassee Chamber of Commerce, the New York County Small Business of the Year Award, the NAACP Chairman of the Board Award, the Florida Bar Henry Latin Award, the Lawyers Committee for the Civil Rights Law Office Award, and the American Justice Association Johnny L. Cochran Sword Eagle Award. The Association of Fundraising Professional Award awarded him his, his then partner with the Outstanding Philanthropist of the Year Award for the firm donation of a million dollars to the legal services of the North Pole. Because of his diligent and facious representation of his client, Park is a member of the Million Dollar Addison Award. We thank Attorney Darrell Parks for his outstanding service.